Yep. <laughs> All right, folks. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is the day we're going horsepower hunting. I got my gear on, my camo. I'm just fucking off. I'm super excited. I just slept like 14 hours. I got up at what, like two in the morning. It's six thirty. My watch don't even work. I don't know why I'm looking. It's like six thirty. We're about to head to Amarillo. It's like an hour and a half drive. Uh, we're gonna meet up with Brandon. Uh, he's one of my sponsors. One of my greatest friends. He's the one that hooks us up with tires, and he's got a really good deal on some other cool stuff, but. We'll talk about that in other videos. So for me, with Brandon, I think Michael with the Evo, uh, homie that like trailed my car back when I broke an axle and shit, he's gonna meet us there too. I was hoping to get ethanol last night, but I slept through the whole night, so I wasn't able to get any E. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start the car, go around the block a couple times, the way you guys can hear the, the turbo a little bit. Then we're gonna hit the road. Uh, after the dyno stuff, while we're there, we'll be data logging, sending that shit to Frank. Frank's gonna be editing it, sending it back doing runs so we'll have a little bit of that going on Jesse's gonna be recording um, I'm hoping to see the 420 wheel and about the same in torque um, on the first run and then we'll we'll dial it from there but at Redline we should see anywhere from 50 to 80 horsepower increase at Redline that's the biggest thing you guys might like the last time my dyno was like the max I think I was like 383 horsepower and then like I said if I see 420 now it looks like only a 40 horsepower increase, but that's peak. That's peak power. I mean, that's only for a little bit of time. Well, I mean, not really with this turbo now, but really what I'm looking at is like everything past like 4,500 to 5,000 RPM, everything above that should be like exponentially increased power. And that was the whole reason of upgrading turbos um, on the power side of it at least, was to get that top end, um, just to hold boost to redline basically. So hopefully we'll see good results I mean I can feel it so I know we're gonna see it just uh, we'll see how the, the density altitude works out today it's supposed to be like 88 in Amarillo uh, and the altitude there is about a thousand foot less than it is here so uh, I don't know we'll see destroy your car on the dyno being all-wheel drive if you're doing this on a two-wheel drive dyno you need to disconnect the Haldex it's kind of being a pain in the butt right now Get which there we go holy crap once you wrestle the thing off you got this one connector in here slide it up out of the thing push it together hit your button boom now your front wheel drive.
first dyno pool done. I'm very happy with the number. We're looking at 427 wheel and, or no, sorry. We're backwards here. Uh, 424 wheel and 405 torque. We gained 40 horsepower, which is about exactly what I was thinking. We lost about 15 foot pounds of torque, uh, but that, that right there is when the dyno was loaded, that file. We overlaid them. You can see them here. Pause it if you'd like. We made a ton more power at Redline, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, we're looking at, what, like 330, going up, yeah, about 70 wheels is what I expected. So I sent the log to Frank. He said add one pound, uh, one PSI. So we'll do that, run it again, and uh, see what it makes. The old fire here, we're going into, back into Eurodyne, he said to add one PSI. So we go in, boost an octane. Oh, shit. Should probably turn the car on. Now it's gonna act stupid. Oh no, it isn't. Read settings. We're at 26. Bump it up. Write settings. Boom. Read again. Make sure it's set to 27. It is. Then we'll go back in to data logging, and we'll run another uh, another one. I'm like extremely happy. I mean, this is pretty much exactly what I wanted. I wanted 420 wheel. Hey, and. Uh, anything over 400 foot pounds of torque really and I'm glad that the torque really isn't higher than what it was before because that's that's how you break rods so keeping the torque between 400 and 420 and let the wheel horsepower go as high as it wants to really and mind you we're on 91 octane and actually while we're here um, bring up the BA see how that looks your GPS on yeah, it's always on. It might be because of the... There we go. So the DA right now is 50, almost 5,500. 53% humidity. So we're making that much power at this altitude on 91 octane. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. We have plenty of room. The MPI injectors are only sitting at 40%. So that gives us plenty of headroom to add ethanol. Um, we'll probably be back here in a month and try like an E50, like kill file blend. And, uh, and go from there. But as, as it sits, we're gonna go do some drag racing, you know, roll racing, that autocross, all the things on this file. And then, uh, like I said, we'll come back, we'll do a kill tune, and then have that for big nights and, and drag events. And stuff. We added one PSI, which really isn't adding boost. It's uh, it's adding fueling, basically the way the sliders work in Eurodyne. But um, we added one one pound, and now we're up to 413 torque and 439 wheel horsepower. So I'm very happy with that. And he told me to add another pound. So uh, we'll add one more, see what it makes. Logs look good. But the logs look good. Air fuel looks good. Everything like I am extremely happy like you guys have no idea. and this is like exactly what I was saying about making like 70 more wheel at uh at redline like I was pretty much on point I was hoping for 75 but it's at 70 we made uh, a peak of 40 more horsepower which is great like and that, that was just my estimates off of you know based off the forms and, and a good educated guess but god damn I'm happy I am a happy freaking camper hopefully uh, the videos are decent. I got other people using my phone and the camera to record while I'm in the car data logging with homeboy here. But Oh, and if anybody ever wanted to know, since I'm using the OBD port for tuning, 
Uh, if they need a, a wire to run RPM, it's the brown one. I had to like use an exact, uh, an exacto, use a freaking razor and cut the tape back a little bit, but the brown wire is what you're gonna use to get your RPM for the dyno. So, the more you know. So it's pretty much on the money for exactly what I wanted. We added that one more PSI. We're sitting at 447 and 421. So basically 450 and 420, which is perfect. And now I know, uh, kind of, I can go in there whenever I want. You know, I'll daily it at like that first dyno run and then when we go to the drag strip or whatever, I'll bump it up to this. I can just do that with the sliders in there, real easy. And uh, that's it, I mean 450. And I picked up, I'll have them bring up last times uh, first run and then this time's last run so we can see exactly how much more power we made at Redline. But I, I'm going to go and see right now, you see uh, Redline 7, but it, it was kind of losing. You see right here, it's almost 450 freaking real horsepower at, I mean, 6,500 RPM and that's about where I shift anyway. My shift light is set for 66, so yeah, that's, that's awesome. Before. I'm pretty sure when we bring up the other chart, it's going to be like sitting right around 300 at Redline. So we're looking 100, 150 horsepower added at Redline. Like that's that's fucking amazing. I am beyond happy, and we have made another 40 horsepower peak. And uh, you see, it just it holds that power. Like that is that is awesome. Like that is so awesome. 91 octane at you know whatever the DA said it was 55, 5600. Uh, we'll come back in a month with some ethanol and. Uh, push it a little bit harder, see if we can break, I don't know, 470, 480. He thinks I can make 500 on E. Tudor says I can make 500 on E. Uh, like I said, but I'm not gonna run full E. That's not happening. I'm not buying that fuel pump controller anytime soon. That's a lot of money, and I'm not I'm not here to chase horsepower numbers. I, I just want, like I said before, a good, reliable turbo with a good fuel system that's gonna keep the valves clean, and it'll uh, <laughs> benefit me and autocross. <laughs> so, we got, we got Brandon here, we got Jesse here, they're both helping me record. Michael was here for a little bit hanging out, but uh, let see, I'll, I'll holler at homie here and I'll get him to put up the thing, but god damn. Shout out to Frank. Frank's the man. Like, he's done so much for me already and doing this shit today, and he's busy. He's telling me this morning that I'm swamped, I'm busy as shit, but we'll make the time, we'll get her done. And of course, Ed over at EQT, we're dealing with all my questions up until purchasing and then purchasing and just making a quality product that fits. I mean, it looks great. Look at this. I mean, really, you look in here, other than the fuel system itself and maybe the catch can, like you wouldn't be able to really tell if this thing's making, you wouldn't look at this bay and think it makes 450 horsepower. Like, at least I don't think someone that doesn't know what they're looking at. You got an LS guy that comes over and looks at this, and like, oh, what the hell? It makes 320 horsepower, you know, whatever. So, I'm just rambling on. I've had a Red Bull. I'm excited as fuck right now. This is something. <laughs> All right, so behind me here is the first run from the IS38 about a month ago and in today's run. And if you look here, so this is max power. The bottom one is last time, so it's black. And in today's is the dark blue. And say we look at 6,500 RPM at black and then blue we're looking at right there right under 350 and right here right under 450 so we're looking at 
almost an exact 100 horsepower gain at redline, which is freaking ridiculous. Like, I, I'm, I am stoked. And mind you, this is at 191 octane, so we get some methanol in here. Um, I just set the date. We're back here on the 27th next month. I'm gonna bring two big things of uh, probably, probably because we're going to the track next weekend. So I might buy some like X85 there and then save that for next time. Um, see, try and get like an E40, E50 blend. Like I said I'm not gonna upgrade fuel pump controllers. So around I think E50, E60 will be the max on this pump without the controller, and it should clean up a whole lot. Frank said we'll we'll make 500 next time. He actually just sent me another file thinking I was gonna do another pull, and we would have made over actually over 450 not 447 but i'm not going to pay for another three runs there's there's no point um, I'm, I'm already extremely happy with the way it is the first run was more than enough and then this is just super duper extra so i'm gonna go out play around here there's a uh, cars and coffee going on so we're gonna go head down there hang out i don't know what we're gonna do up here for the rest of the day at least get some some chick-fil-a that's for damn sure where no probably not i don't know we'll see but you guys see it right there. Frank's Mobile Tax Tuning, EQT Turbo, Precision Raceworks, uh, High Fuel Fuel Line, 925cc kit, uh, 450 pump, and we're looking at Racing Line's intercooler, Racing Line's intake, elbow, uh, EQT's discharge pipe kit. Uh, just doing great on the, on the RSRRs that hooked. They had no, they didn't slip at all here on the dyno, running in front wheel drive, so. Yeah, I'm happy. And then mind you, this is, dyno is just a tool. So even if it doesn't really make this horsepower at this altitude with correction or whatever, I don't, I don't care. It made 100 more horsepower gain at Redline. Um, I'm sticking with my numbers, 450, 420 at this setting, and I'm, I'm happy as shit. Like this is, this is awesome. 10 out of 10, happy. Well, guys, what a freaking day! I am so excited like 450 and 420 that's literally like exactly what i wanted um i did not push for more power i did not ask for more power i literally was i sent the log to frank i was like frank what do you think he said add one pound ran it again frank what do you think add one pound boom he wanted to see exactly 450 he had actually wound up sending me another file after the third run and i didn't, I didn't want to pay another 100 bucks um his 100 bucks for three runs so Man, um, what a day. Just what a freaking day. Um, yeah, I'm just like dumbfounded. I'm, I'm excited. I'm tired. I've been up since 2 in the morning. It's like 5 in the afternoon now. It's been 93, 94 degrees all day. I'm sweating, hot, nasty. At least I got me a beer. But I want to give some shout outs here. Shout out to Seth there at Proven Automotive in Amarillo, Texas. Dude's cool as shit. Already scheduled dyno time for the 27th to come back, play around some, with some ethanol. Um, shout out to Robert. Bruce, I guess. I don't know how to say his last name. It's the guy that runs Precision Raceworks. That's my fuel system. I have the 925cc kit. Um, their high, fuel, high flow fuel line, E85 sensor, and their Walbro 450 uh, kit. Uh, and I still, I, my injectors are running at 40% for the, for the, the MPI, or not MPI, the port injectors. Jesus, my brain is not working. Um, that, that whole fuel system never had a problem that wasn't my fault. Um, just huge shout out to them. Their fuel system stuff, A+. Plus. Uh, shout out to Ed Sussman at EQT, or Equilibrium Tuning. Uh, that's turbo. They, have, they even have, they have a, a bigger housing you can buy on this and make even more power if you really wanted to. Um, but the product is doing its job. It's great. I, I couldn't be happier. And then last but not least, Frank Mabo, Mabo Tech. My tuner, um, what 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 an awesome guy! Like he really didn't even have to do much uh, to the file at all. Like the road tuning came out the, the way that you see it on the dynos, and it's it's great. Like I, I the power comes on quick. I mean, you see, you know, it's holding that boost all the way to red line. It's great. Like I am, I'm stoked. I'm super stoked. Um, that last file, it was over 30 pounds of boost. And the car can only read up to 30, like 29 and a half, I guess, really, because of the, the map sensors. So I just hit up Robert from Precision Raceworks. They, they make a four bar uh, map sensor kit. Let me see if he has some in stock. Probably order those uh, as soon as he gets back to me. And we have a roll race event next weekend. Um, I'd like to have those in so I can run that third file 
that we did uh, it's just playing around on the slider so I put it back down to where it was on the first one like 420 and 405 that's how I'm gonna daily it for now until we get uh, the map sensors in but uh, I mean even there it's, it's great I mean just feeling that that third file I went and did it on the street right afterwards and it's just freaking ridiculous that oh my god third gear is just I've never seen go third gear go by so quick like holy shit uh, I haven't even launched the car yet. I need to go out and play around one of these days this week. But we have this roll race event next Saturday back up in Amarillo. It's a $750 pot. Um, and the classes will be, they said, within 10 mile an hour of each other. So we'll be doing a bunch of qualifying runs before it starts. Uh, fingers crossed that we, we do good there. I'd like to make it to the finals. I, the last time I did it was like two years ago. And uh, I think I made it to the second round or third round or something like that. I think it was the third round. So hopefully we make it further this year and uh, win some money. That'd be legit, get some of my money back. Still need to sell this IS38. I got the IS38 with the um, Racing Line Turbo Muffler Delete, Turbo Smart Blow Off Valve, CTS Pipes. Got them all sitting there, $1,200. Take it, take it away. I need to pay off this turbo. PayPal credit is awesome. I signed for PayPal credit right away. They gave me five Gs. Next day, bought this turbo. So uh, if you're looking to buy some parts, and it's six months, no interest, so Six months to pay off what was it, like 2,400 bucks uh, for the everything that I got included with it. I got the turbo, the wastegate, and the uh, pipes and turbo muffler delete for like I think it was like 2,400. Um, and then I, you know, you sell your old setup with your wastegate and all that, and you can sell your old turbo with the wastegate for like 800 if you're IS38, and that, you know, knocks that down. Look, you're 16 out of pocket over six months. It really ain't that bad. I throw like 100 out of it every week. Like uh, once this sells, I got like $200 left on it. That's done. I can buy my buy my big brick kit or pay for it. I think it may or may not already be on its way. I have no idea, but um, it's great. It's awesome. I can't wait. Go out and get some some dig racing in. Uh, some legitimate drag racing with some times. It'll be coming. We got like I said, the next five weekends. There's some type of racing going on, and I will be making it to everything. Um, Hopefully I have enough money to get to Denver for streetcar takeover. It's like the 12th and 13th of next month. Uh, I might have to sacrifice autocross for that, but going up to Denver for that event is just awesome. You get 1320, you got Cletus up there, you got all the street racing that you can imagine. The track up there is beautiful and the mountains and the people are just so friendly. Just going up there is just, just awesome. Denver, if you can make it to the Denver streetcar takeover event, you will not regret it. It is worth the 16 hours worth of driving, all the fuel and hotel bullshit and bums you gotta deal with. Denver is full of homeless people. It's kind of weird, but totally worth going. Anyway, I'm done rambling here. Uh, car made good power. Couldn't be happier. Uh, map sensors will be ordered soon. Uh, as soon as this turbo is paid off, I'm ordering, uh, well, they gotta pay for that BBK, but got control arms that need to be bought. I need to do a realignment, I need to do corner balance. Um, if you know anybody that wants to buy golf R interior, just by interior I mean seats, front seats, back seats. I would like to sell mine to get some lightweight race seats, shave some more weight, any a lightweight battery up here. I'd like to see the car under 3,100 pounds at 450 horsepower on 91 pump. Um, I think it should be should be hard to reckon with. I mean it is a manual, so it's automatically handicapped, kind of slow. But uh, I have faith in her. She, she's she's doing great. But anyway, I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, actually, one more thing. Um, if you are going to be in the comments saying, oh, the car didn't make that much power, blah, 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 I don't really care how much power the car made. I mean, it made, I, I do I do care, but not like necessarily like care all that much. It made 100 wheel horsepower gain at Redline, basically, and that's what I was looking for. I mean, even if, say, the dyno's 30 wheel off, I still made 420 horsepower and made 100 more horsepower at redline basically so i'm happy as shit a dyno is just a tool uh i'm not gonna just go throw numbers oh, 454, yeah, yeah whatever i don't i don't care it made it made good numbers and you can feel it and i'm the, the times are going to show it the races are going to show it so just stay tuned for what's to come this car is going to wind up being a full-on like time attack style car in the future full of aero lightweight fucking a whole nine so Anyway, I've been ranting here for eight minutes now. I apologize. Make sure you hit that like button, and I'll uh, hit you up for another video later this week.